guys today we're in fusion 360 and what I wanted to do today was just kind of go over some of the cam functions in fusion 360 and some of the issues that I've run into several times and actually ran into when I was generating the code for the x-axis ball nut mount so let's take a look so you go up to model here and you can go down to cam so you can see I already have my operations laid out for the x-axis ball nut mount. Uh, I have two separate setups because we're going to be going from this direction right here. We'll be machining from this side and we're going to be machining from the top to do these operations here. So, get this oriented, alright. So this is how the workpiece is going to be set up in the mill for this first operation. And the first thing we're going to be doing is just drilling some center drill for these holes here. Pretty straightforward process. And how did I get this? You just go up to drilling and it'll pop up the operation here, you can see. And then you can go through and set up your parameters. Let me cancel out of that. Okay, let's go to this one and I'll show you how we set it up. So the first thing is our tool tab. Select our tool. Now I'm using tool number 8, which happens to be a 3 16 center drill. I've got my coolant disabled. And the feeds and speeds are set up when you set your tool up in your library and so every time you use that tool it will default back to the feeds and speeds that you set up in your tool library and the information is associated with that particular tool uh, since I'm running an X2 I have it set up like this once I get the new meal running uh, these feeds and speeds will all probably change um, because it's going to be a more capable machine um, I'm running at 10 inches a minute and 2000 RPMs and then we want to select which faces so all you have to do is just click you just need to click the inside face of the hole and it automatically puts it in the center okay and that's pretty much it um, right here on your heights I'm not going to be, you need to set up where the bottom is. Uh, default is the bottom of the model or the bottom of the stock. So you want to select, because we're only center drilling, stock top. And then I'm going minus 0.1 is the offset. What that does is just drill down point ten thousandths of an inch. So let me show you what I'm talking about. You can see, just barely puts a hole in there. There we go. Just enough to make a mark. And then our next operation is drilling a hole. Now, I only have a center drill and a eighth of an inch drill bit set up in my tools for my X2. That is the two drilling tools I use most of the time. So I'm only going to be drilling an eighth of an inch hole and I'll come back and do these manually with the drill press. Again, tool number 14 happens to be my eighth inch twist drill. It's actually a stub drill. It's only about an inch long. And it's going to the whole bottom because the hole I selected is only about 15 millimeters deep so we should be good there and then we can simulate that now if if there for any reason you have any kind of issues with your tool it'll turn red down there at the bottom and it also turn the top of your stock here red letting you know that you've had some kind of collision when you set your tool up, 
the length of the tool is important and it takes all that in consideration so if this was only a quarter inch long but I'm trying to go a half inch then I'm gonna have a collision and this would turn red so bear that in mind when you're setting up your tools make sure you put in accurate information because it'll help you um, when you're generating your tool pass and then for boring let's go to that setup so I selected uh, tool number one, which happens to be a 3 8 inch end mill. And this end mill is an inch and three quarters long. Um, we're running at 2,000 RPMs. Uh, my cutting feed rate is 15 inches per minute. Uh, again, the geometry, you just select the inside of the hole there. Uh, the height, it automatically goes all the way to the bottom. If you want, it defaults to 1, and you can see that what 1 gives you, but if you make it 2, then it'll have 2 steps, and if you make it 3, which is what I had it, then it gives you 3 steps. Because we're going to be starting with a solid stock, I have it set for 3 steps. Now another thing is the milling direction. I have it set on conventional because the X2 for some reason just doesn't have enough power to really do any kind of climb milling, especially when you're doing roughing. Now climb milling gives you a better finish and sometimes I'll come back with a finishing pass and just do the climb milling just on that one pass and one operation. Uh, but for most of the stuff with the X2, I just found that conventional milling just seems to work better. Uh, I know a lot of people have said, hey, you should be climb milling, but the reason is it's just the X2. It just seems to work better for me when it's conventional milling. So that pretty much wraps up the operations for the first setup. Now... I wanted to show you that so you can kind of see how we have things laid out and then for setup number two it's just basically the same thing we have two holes I'm going to center drill I'm going to drill an eighth of an inch and then I'm going to come back and I'm just going to use a 3 16th end mill and I'm going to bore this countersink here and then we'll come back later on with the drill press and I'll finish boring all the way through with the right diameter hole so when we go to post your processes, I've gotten several questions before about posting processes. Uh, people have different issues. And I wanted to kind of go through them for just a second and show you something um, that happens to me sometimes. If you post a process and you end up getting an error, and let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's go up to setup. We're going to right click and generate our tool paths. Okay, no problems there. And then we go up to post processes. Uh, one thing to do is right here, just turn it. If you're just doing a milling operation, put it on milling. And then that way, when you go to select which post processor you want to use, then it's easier to find. As you can see, for milling operations, there's a lot. And I've used the FANUC generic one here and Mach 3. And they all work, both work uh, equally well. Most of this over here on this side in this box, I leave alone. But one thing I do to do is turn off the sequence numbers. Um, it could be beneficial for some people, but for me it's just kind of in the way and I, I really don't like them. I guess if there's something that's um, a, several thousand lines of code, you may need it to reference back to an issue that you might be having. And sometimes it is nice to have those numbers in there, but it's completely up to you. Uh, most of the time I just turn them off. So we're going to post our code. It asked you just where you want to save it. All right. It's going to take a second here to post. 
All right, there it goes. Okay, so see, this is the exact uh, thing I wanted to show you. You see it gives me these errors. Um, instead of giving me nice clean G code, this is what I get instead. And this is very frustrating. And if you've tried to generate any kind of uh, G code, you may have ran into this problem before. So I thought I would just show you because it happened to me today. And I wanted to just kind of show you what's going on. So it gives you a bunch of different information here about where it's generated, uh, so on and so forth, what post process you're using, uh, the vendor for the post processor, which is Artsoft because it's Mach 3. Um, and it says total number of warnings, one. And it tells me that there's an error, it failed to post process, and see below for details. So we look down here and we see uh, that the error, here's the warning. The one warning is the work offset has not been specified using G54. And our error happens to be invalid coolant mode. And you might say, well, invalid coolant mode. Okay. So what's that mean? Well, I purposely did this just to show you, but you see that we have our coolant mode as air. For some reason, it doesn't like that. If I select flood, it'll probably be okay. So let's do it with flood. Maybe that post processor doesn't have air as a valid selection uh, in the post processor. I'm not real sure uh, if Mach 3 has that ability. There we go. Starting to post now. Okay. If I select flood, then it will post. Now notice it only posted one operation because I only have one operation, operation highlighted here. If I select this and post the processes, then it should include all three operations that I have for that particular setup. All right, so you can see this time it did post our processes. And you can see just a simple thing like having an invalid coolant, which is not part of that processor, maybe, um, because it's not, it doesn't, Mach 3 doesn't have that capability, it will give you that error. Now, you probably can go through there because there's probably 30 or 40 different post processors and find one that does have the cap capability that you're getting the error for and it'll generate the code and you're like, well, how come it generates it with this one but not with this one? And so, I'm guessing that's the reason. I found over the course of working with Fusion 360, I found several different situations that will give me an error. And you just have to kind of go through there and work with each one until you figure out what exactly is the issue. Sometimes you can just post one process and get it to work right and then check the next one, the next one, until you get all three to work. So that's something that is frustrating to me, and I know that it's frustrating to many of you who are using Fusion 360 to generate your cam. So if you've ever run into that, hopefully this video will help you. Um, next, we're going to go out to the X2, and we're going to run this code. So stay tuned for that video. Please feel free to make suggestions, ask questions, and leave comments. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like the video, please subscribe, and most importantly, be safe.